majority of patients that get hip and knee replacement in, in our section of the country are going to receive a spinal anesthetic. So uh, a spinal anesthetic is essentially they uh, put an injection into your, into your back. It basically makes you numb from the belly button down if we're doing lower extremity surgery. It allows us to do the surgery without pain for the patient or difficulty. It seems to be safe. There are, are a couple studies that have shown it might be beneficial in minimizing blood clot risk and minimizing blood loss. Certainly it seems to be helpful with pain. In addition to that, there are some other anesthetic things that we can do. So for knee replacements, we will typically have the patients also receive an additional, what we call an adductor block, um, which blocks the nerves down around the knee. It seems to give about 85-90% of the sensory blockade while only knocking out about 5% of the muscle power. So the patients have pretty good pain control for anywhere between you know, 8, 12, 24 hours, depending upon the patient, without significant loss of muscle function. So it allows us to control their pain and still get them up and move. Um, I think most of us that do a lot of hip and knee replacement surgery at this stage of the game are also doing some sort of local wound injection. There's been some good data on that. So as we finish with a hip or a knee replacement, I will inject the soft tissues around the, the, um, the, around the joint to try to decrease pain and swelling. And what we've seen at, at our institutions is that has made a dramatic difference in the amount of narcotic pain medicine that those patients are taking in the first 24 hours.